everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all doing really, really well. So today I am back with another styling video and as you might be able to tell from the title, today I am filming a workwear outfits video. Uh, this is definitely my most highly requested video topic on YouTube, so I'm really excited to be filming another one of these. Obviously we are bang in the middle of summer at the minute, so these are gonna be like high summer looks, um, many of which you could also kind of transition into autumn as well. Um, but yeah, I have 10 looks to show you and um, as always they're all going to be neutral and um, so if you like neutrals then this is the video for you and whilst this isn't necessarily a capsule wardrobe video I do feel like everything would pretty much work like mix and match together and all the pieces are really classic anyway so you're likely to have um, very similar alternatives to most of the pieces in your wardrobe already um, so yeah I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing now which is this really cute linen blend waistcoat from H H&M and this linen blend maxi skirt from Mango. Um, I feel like this waistcoat trend that is massive at the minute is perfect as workwear. Um, these definitely have a really smart feel to them, but then they also feel like really on trend, but also classic at the same time. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving them and it works perfectly with anything high-waisted. Um, so obviously, like I said, I've gone for this maxi skirt. This has a drawstring waist, so it's really, really comfortable. Um, it goes right down to my ankles and it's very flowy and kind of breathable. I love this colour as well. It's the perfect tone of brown. Um, and footwear wise, you can go for a couple of different options with skirts like this. Um, at the minute, I'm wearing it with some like open toed sandals, which I know isn't probably appropriate for a lot of office environments. Um, I definitely could have got away with them at the office that I used to work at, but if like open toed sandals are a no no for your office, then I'd probably go for some like flat white pump style trainers or you could even do like a little heel, like a little court heel or something like that. Um, so yeah, there are a few options, but I think as a smart, casual kind of look, this works perfectly all together. And then I do also have a new bag to show you. Um, this is from a beautiful brand called Oliada, who I am very excited to be working with on this part of the video. Um, they are a female-owned brand and they use recycled materials in all of their products and their bags are just the most beautiful quality. Like the craftsmanship of these pieces is just incredible. Um, it's the softest Italian leather. It's got kind of like a pebbled effect to it. So it is scratch proof. Um, it's also water resistant and stain resistant as well. Um, it also matches my skirt literally perfectly. Like these are the exact same color. Um, I absolutely love the tone of it because it's kind of like that, you know, like mushroomy warm brown, but it isn't too warm. So it goes with like cool tone looks and also warmer tones as well. Um, the size is absolutely perfect. Um, this fits a 13 inch laptop. So perfect as a work bag would also make a perfect travel bag as well. And um, it has this like flap section at the back. I will film some cutaways for this so you can see how you can wear it. Um, but this like slides onto a suitcase. So it's just perfect for traveling. Um, obviously I've just got it as the top handle right now, but you do also get a strap which can be used in a couple of different ways. Um, so you can kind of attach it to the back here and use it as a backpack or you can obviously use it crossbody as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just absolutely in love with the design of this. I feel like it is just the ultimate chic workwear bag, um, but you're not compromising on how much you can fit in it because it really does fit so much. Um, they do also do a slightly bigger size as well, which fits a 14 inch laptop if you do have a bigger one. Um, but yeah, for me, this is absolutely perfect. And whilst I obviously don't work in an office, I think for going and working from a cafe or also for travel, it's just going to be my go-to bag. So this next look definitely has a more casual feel to it, but there are ways you could very easily adapt it and make it a little bit smarter if you needed to. Um, I'm wearing this t-shirt from Cos. I have this in about four or five different colors now, and they are without a doubt my favorite t-shirts. Um, I literally cannot fault the quality of these. They are really, really thick, 
and they wash really well. Um, I think they are £25, which is obviously a little bit more expensive for a t-shirt, but I do think they are going to last way longer than a more affordable t-shirt would. And I think because they are quite thick, they just work perfectly as workwear. Um, I've paired the striped one with these linen trousers from Arquette. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the exact same style as the wool trousers that I have in like three different colors and I rave about all the time on my channel. Um, I do have the beige pair coming up in a few outfits time. Um, I know that our care is not available in the US and I know that is so annoying. So I will try and find something similar for those of you who are in the US because I know that a lot of you are. Um, but yeah, if you can get your hands on these, I would highly recommend these trousers. Right now I've got them on with my New Balance 530s and they are the perfect length. I've just rolled them up once at the bottom for that kind of like slouchy feel. Um, but if you are a little bit taller than me, then these are gonna be perfect on you. Um, I think to make this look smarter, you could very easily swap out the trainers for a little heel um, and then add a blazer over the top to really smarten the look up. Um, styling wise, I've gone for my black Celine belt to tie in with the black stripe and then also this laptop sleeve from Aliada. Um, I feel like this is just absolutely genius. It fits up to a 16 inch laptop. And then on the back, you've got this little clutch compartment. Um, so this is removable, so you can use it as a clutch. And it just fits like all your essentials. So your phone, like your keys, um, your laptop charger, your purse, things like that. They're all gonna fit into here. And then I feel like if you were going out for lunch or going to meet someone for a coffee, then it's just the perfect little handy clutch to have. Just like remove this and that's all you need to take with you. Um, this also folds out into a laptop stand, which I will show you in the cutaways. Um, but yeah, I just think it's absolutely genius and perfect for those days where you don't have like too much to carry, but obviously you're still taking your laptop into the office. So this next outfit I love because it revolves around one of my favorite colors to wear, which is navy. Um, I've gone for quite a monochrome look up top. In fact, very monochrome because these are the exact same color. Um, again, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Cos. Um, this navy one is the newest addition to my collection and I love it. Um, and then I've got this Massimo Duty jacket over the top. Um, I did kind of recently get this. I bought it in the sale, so I don't think it will still be available. Um, but I will try and find something similar to Link. Um, and then I've gone for my Zara mom jeans, just to keep it feeling a little bit more casual. Um, these are a pretty comfortable pair of jeans. The denim isn't too stiff, so they are a good one for the office. Um, I'm not sure if they still do these exact ones because I've had them a few years. Um, but I'm pretty sure they bring back this style every season. So I will leave this year's version linked in the description box. Um, and then I've gone for tan accessories because I just love navy and tan together. Um, this bag is from Arquette. Potentially not the most practical work bag because it is quite small, um, but perfect for the essentials if you are carrying your laptop separately or if you don't need to take it in. Um, and then I've gone for a tan sandal, but I think you could easily swap the sandals out for a loafer or a trainer would also work with this outfit as well. So the next look has a more classic workwear feel to it. Um, this definitely feels a lot smarter. Um, it's kind of giving me Sylvie from Emily in Paris vibes, which I never think is a bad thing because I absolutely love her style. Um, but I think this will be the perfect dress for those of you who work in a slightly smarter office environment. Um, it's a linen dress from Massimo Duty. I've had it a few months now, but I don't know if they've brought back this exact one, but they definitely have something very, very similar on their website at the minute. Um, I love it. I think it is so flattering. It's got kind of this ruching detail in the waist and then the high neck with the like capped sleeves. I think it's gorgeous. And then obviously because it is linen, it is really breathable and perfect for the summer months. Um, it goes down into like a midaxi length. So again, it would be perfect with a sandal or a heel or like a backless loafer or something like that. Um, and I've gone for my Oliada bag because I just think it works so nicely with black. 
it really makes it pop and yeah i just feel like it adds to that chic kind of like ceo vibe that this outfit is giving i feel like i couldn't film a workwear video without including a striped shirt look um, i've been wearing this massimo d t-shirt so much over summer and obviously it is the perfect workwear piece as well um, i'm not sure if this one will still be in stock but if it isn't i will definitely be able to find some alternatives to link um, I've paired it with a denim maxi skirt, which could be a rogue choice for the office, but it is like a mid-axi length and it only has a very small slit, which doesn't even come up to your knees. So I feel like it could definitely be workwear appropriate. Um, if you did want to smarten the look up though, I think you could definitely swap out the skirt for some tailored cream trousers. I posted that exact look a few months ago on Instagram and it went kind of viral on Instagram and also on TikTok. So I feel like it's just a really classic, kind of like old money look. Um, you could also do it with some cream denim jeans as well and I think that would work perfectly. But I just really like the contrast of the blue with the cream and then also the tan accessories. Next up, we have an all black look and this is an outfit I've been wearing so much recently. I feel like it is just such an easy one to throw on. It's very minimal, but it still feels really put together and quite chic as well. Um, I'm wearing my H&M linen blend trousers. You definitely will have heard me speak about these before on my channel, but they are just the perfect, affordable workwear piece. Um, they are a straight leg and like ankle length and really relaxed and comfortable. Um, High-waisted as well, and I've paired them with this Massimo Duty contrast top. Um, I know these like contrast tops are a really big trend at the minute, but they definitely feel really classic as well. I feel like that like white contrast detail just adds so much to the outfit. Um, and again, I've got my black Celine belt and then I've paired it with the Oleada laptop sleeve because obviously this has the contrast detail too. And um, it also has contrast stitching, which I love. Um, and yeah, I just think it works perfectly with this very minimal look. Um, footwear wise, I've actually ordered some um, like pointed toe backless shoes from Massimo DT, which I think would go so well with this outfit, um, but they also haven't arrived yet. So I will have them for the cutaways. Um, so I'll show you them there, but I think they are the perfect workwear footwear option. I feel like everyone needs a shirt dress in their workwear wardrobe. Um, they just feel so elevated and they're just perfect for the office. Um, I'm pretty sure I included this one from Massimo Duty in last year's workwear video. Um, I have also ordered an updated one for this year from Massimo Duty, but again, it hasn't arrived yet. Um, so I will film a cutaway for that, but it's like a cotton black and white striped one, I think. Um, but this one is a linen fabric, which is another great option for summer workwear. Um, really breathable again, and it's got the tight belt, but you could also take this out and replace it with your own belt just to elevate it that little bit more. Um, again, I've gone for tan accessories, so tan heeled mules and my tan palem bag. Um, again, this is another perfect workwear bag option. Um, you can fit your laptop in here, obviously, as well. And the sides do collapse in. I love this bag so much. And I feel like the contrast of the cream with the tan is just perfect. Um, you do also have shoulder straps with this as well. So yeah, just the perfect workwear option. I feel like stripes have been a very prominent theme throughout this video. But I also just had to include this lily silk top because I feel like, again, this is just a perfect workwear piece. Um, it's got these really nice little uh, buttons on the shoulder. My hair's fully getting in the way. Um, but I really like that detail. It's also quite a high neck and it just feels very classic and kind of like 40s or 50s vibes. Um, I'm pretty sure this is made from silk as well, but it is like a knit, but obviously it's sleeveless. So again, very lightweight. And I paired it with my Arquette satin skirt. Um, I love this skirt and I wear this a lot as well. Um, it's a great midi length and it just has a little slit up one leg. And then I've just popped my Celine belt around just to break it up a bit, but it works equally as well without the belt. 
Um, and again, I've gone for black shoes and then my cream Demelia bag just for a little bit of contrast. Um, this one doesn't fit a laptop, but it does fit all the other essentials. Um, it's a fairly spacious bag, but yeah, you just can't get a laptop in there. Um, but I do think it works perfectly with a black and white themed look. So this next outfit is definitely one of my favourites. I feel like this would be perfect if any of you work in fashion or like PR or any kind of job like that where you want to look kind of dressy but not like too corporate or anything and then I feel like this would be a really good option. I also think this would be a nice holiday outfit as well but I do definitely think it works for the office too. Um, I'm wearing this racerback vest, well it's actually a bodysuit and it's from Anina Bing. This is so thick and I love the colour, it's also a really kind of soft and slightly shiny material so it definitely looks quite luxe. Um, and then I've gone for some Arquette linen trousers. These are the exact same style as the beige ones I showed you in an earlier outfit. Um, one thing to note is that the white pair are very, very slightly see-through. Um, you can't see like your skin through or if you're wearing like nude underwear or a nude bodysuit so, like I am, then you definitely can't see anything. But you couldn't tuck like a striped shirt in or anything like that because you would be able to see it. Um, but styling wise, I've gone for tan accessories again. I just love the tan with this like camel tone. Um, so I've got my Celine belt and then my Palem bag. And again, some slightly heeled tan mules. And then the final outfit definitely has a more transitional feel to it. Um, or this will be great for the weather we're having in the UK right now, where it really isn't that warm considering it is the middle of July. Um, but I'm wearing my Arquette wide leg wool trousers. Um, these are the ones that I think are the exact same style as the linen pairs. Um, I think these should still be in stock, so if they are, I will leave them linked. Um, and then I've gone for this little one shoulder top, which is from Pretty Lavish. Um, and then again with black accessories and this black linen blazer from Arquette over the top. Um, I think I'm actually going to take this to get shortened. Um, I found a good tailor recently and now I'm obsessed with taking things to the tailor. Um, so I definitely think I'm going to have this shortened a bit so it feels a little bit boxier and doesn't drown me as much. Um, but this bag is my Demelia London one, which you guys will definitely know from my previous videos. Um, and then I've gone for trainers again to keep it feeling kind of casual. Um, but like the other outfits, you could definitely dress this up by just changing to some like heels or something like that. Um, but yeah, those are all 10 outfits I had to show you. Um, like I said at the start, they were all very much neutral and there was definitely a consistent colour palette going on. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed and I hope you got some inspiration for office outfits for the rest of the summer. Um, as always, everything will be linked in the description box. Um, I do think you could recreate many of these outfits with pieces you've probably already got in your wardrobe. Um, but yeah, everything will be linked below if you do want to shop any of the pieces. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I am going to be taking a little bit of a YouTube break because next week we are going to Italy for two weeks, which I literally cannot wait for. Um, obviously, I will be vlogging the trip, but there won't be any video to go up whilst I'm away. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a little break, but I will be straight back into fashion videos once I get back. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much again for watching and hopefully I will see you for my next video.